Hey guys, welcome back to Max Electronics uh, and again we're back with another moving head so we're going to be comparing the previous one that we looked at which was a professional stage one and this is a solo uh, 250 by PR I believe uh, this is more of a, I wouldn't say home but kind of an amateur moving head I guess for small pubs or nightclubs we'll see the differences they supposed to be doing same functions but there are limitations to this one so we'll have a look what they are this one's working just fine except the little lamp I think needs to be adjusted and there's a few misalignments that I didn't like the prism goes a bit too far and stuff like that it works though so we're gonna pull it apart first and have a look uh, what it looks like inside before we get the head and calibrate everything all the covers are off the um unit and uh, while I was unscrewing the top covers of the sides I've noticed that the light may have been dropped because uh, there is a um, crack not on this one well one piece actually was falling off where the screw is and there is a crack right here so you can see the big crack and there's a crack also on this side here you can just see there so that light must have been dropped uh, that's the electronics inside of it so there is nothing too much excited definitely not like the other light so there's only got one main board with all the drivers and where all the stepper motors come into we've got the ballast for the discharge lamp metal halide lamp we've got the transformer here for the power supply uh, a cap and that's it here yeah that that is it so one stepper just on the other side there it doesn't have any limiters it's got a pointless thing here uh, right there that just once it hits the limit it just goes and hits that which is there it is so I'm not sure what what's the point of that there is no switch or anything so it's just a stalls once it goes to the end that's how it knows there's no counters no limit switches nothing uh, what else on the sides very simple again this is the drive side here and again it's just a stall mechanism right here so when it reaches the end of travel it just stalls against that thing here on the other side is where the harness is uh, and that's it so it's a very simplified version of the other light let's have a look at the head now so the thing I didn't like about it first the lamp was not adjusted but I'll get to that when it uh, that's the shutter here it's a two stepper motors one here one here instead of having one like the other light uh, it just has two and they connect it in uh, parallel and they driving even if you see this one moves when I touch that one uh, so that's the shutter and uh, when the prism drops it actually let me see if I can center it so that would be ideal center for the prism let me just open the shutter and maybe put some light in there so you can see uh, how would I prop it there so that would be ideal center for the prism as you can see but the prism goes a bit further and as you can see the image skews so I need to add something to that screw here so the prism doesn't go that far so it only goes up to here so it's just a bit too far here so once it's here then it's centered uh, then everything else is um, same as the other light prism rotates as well uh, we've got a color wheel here oh, there's a torch again it's a stalling one there's no magnets or any sensors so it stalls against the end there and we've got a gobo wheel that is again stalls when it reaches the end and it's rotating gobos the other downside to this slide is the color is selectable so, so is the gobo so when you select values say from 0 to uh, 30 that's usually white light from 30 to 60 is blue or so on in this case if you doesn't matter which value in the other light when you select say value 10 from 0 to 30 it'll move the light to middle or 20 it'll move a bit more 30 it'll move to the next 31 2 3 and so on in this light doesn't matter which value you select it will select the color so say if I select value 10 
15, 20, it'll stay the same. As soon as it goes 30, uh, and or say 29, same, 30, uh, 30, and it'll just go to the next color. 31, 2, 3, and so on will stay the same. It will not gradually move. Same with gobos. Except the rotation. Rotation you can adjust. Uh, well, focusing mechanism is exactly the same as the other light. Here is the focusing lens right here. And it slides uh, on the motor. Exactly the same mechanism. Lamp. Uh, another thing I've noticed. See how it's dented here? You can see by the light reflection. Someone screwed, I've loosened it now, all the way down and tightened it to the point where it bent the metal here. So someone was not really knowing what they're doing. They must have replaced the lamp, put the new one in, and then just screwed it in all the way until it was really tight, which you're not supposed to do. It's supposed to have some play in it to align it. That's why the light was not aligned. I've loosened it, but we'll still have to align it. Uh, that is it. There is, the, um, there is pretty much no circuit boards here at all. There is this distributor. That circuit board is just a distributor, so it comes out for the fans, I guess, and whatnot. Um, I am going to clean the optics now. I'm going to take the color wheel and gobble wheel out and clean them. I reassemble the light because there's not much to be fixed. Add this stopper so it lines up to the center. And then we'll have a look at the lamp and uh, I will show you how to adjust it. I've gotten the lamp out and um, here it is right here. So also with the, the lamp looks in a really good shape. Here's a socket for it. I've cleaned all the internals. So here is the internal optics. It's more simpler uh, than the, well, same arrangement. You got a reflector, then lamp, then you got two lenses that uh, I didn't remove. I just cleaned them there because it is, it looks like it's hard to remove them. Uh, I've cleaned all the color filters and the diacrylic gobos. I've cleaned the lens, the focus lens. Shutter is okay. What else we got there? I fixed the prism, cleaned that lens and fixed the prism. So now if the prism is extending, it's right in the center. It doesn't go any further before. As you remember, it went beyond that point. So I've just added an extra thickness here, as you can see on that pole. So that's done. Now what we're going to do is set the color to install the lamp because that was so in. Uh, look how much space I've got now, but before it was screwed all the way in and tied to the point where it's bent that metal, as you can see, it's still warped. So I've uh, loosened it up, I've stretched the springs again, uh, then I've screwed it back in just so the screws are sitting at the top right here, as you can see, flush with those um, mounts, all equally. So then what I've done is I've set the color uh, and gobo to clear. So there's no color, no gobo. Focus all the way down. Shutter open. Uh, prism we're going to remove. And we can see all the way back to the reflector right at the back there. So we're going to put the lamp in, as you can see, the lens of the camera probably. <laughs> so uh, we're going to put the lamp in and install it. And inside we should be able to see two electrodes. And we're going to roughly align it by eye, so the electrodes are in the center there, exactly. So I'll be right back, I'm just going to put the lamp in, and then we'll have a look inside. Okay, if we have a look inside, I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to capture it. You can just see in the center there, right here, is an electrode. It is hard to get a good angle on it with the camera. Uh, almost impossible, to be honest because it is dark in there now. But we want, by eye, uh, that electrode, I'll see if I can capture it again. That electrode there is the top one from this side. It's just upside down, uh, appears upside down. So we want to uh, aim it so that you can see the second electrode and then the center. So if you're looking down, you'll see one electrode here and one here. And that's the center of it. And then we're going to power it up and um, adjust it further. So I'm not going to put the leads on just so you can see how it's homing and everything. All right, I'm about to power it on and we will see uh, the powering on sequence. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
and that means the lamp is too shallow so we're going to screw it in a bit further until we see the second electrode coming out from the top side here and we center them so it's in the center all right i'll be right back and i'll show you once i do that okay i've adjusted it now let's see if i can get the to show you again there we go so you can see those two electrodes if you're looking dead in the center you can see these two two electrodes there uh, one at the top and one at the bottom and they centered so that means the lamp is adjusted and now we're going to power it on hook it up to dmx and adjust it further so let's do that all right i'm about to power it on and we will see uh, the powering on sequence here we go And there we go, that's the power on sequence. I'm just going to change the gobos and rotate it just so you can see inside of it. So let's go through the gobos. And let's rotate them. Okay, uh, let's go back to white and let's go to colors. And as you can see, colors are great as well. Uh, what else do we have? Prism. Let's see how prism, let's tilt it towards this. And let's see how prism is engaging. And yep, it's dead center now, and let's rotate it. That's working well. Now, before I open the shutter, I'm going to adjust the light so it faces the wall, maybe. Uh, where is the lamp adjustment there? Okay, so I'm going to open the shutter now. Oh, very bright light. A lot brighter than before. Before it was a nightmare. I'm going to dim it a bit. Uh, where is the dimmer? To there and put a prism on just to see. But again, I've got this effect that the prism is not fully... You can see only two of them. You can't see the third one. And I'm not sure what the problem is there, so let's try um, increasing the brightness. Yeah, that works. But I'm still not happy with it, so could it be just because of the shutter? I think that's the shutter thing. Maybe it's not even. Let's check out the shutter. Yeah, it's just not exactly center, that's why it's um, doing that, but that's all right. Now, the lamp, I don't believe, needs adjustment. I'm pretty sure the lamp is adjusted very well. We can try to move it and see if that will help us focus the prisms. Okay, I'm going to use a screwdriver and I'm going to adjust those two knobs, or well, actually just A, and uh, see if that will help us focus the maybe lens a bit better. I don't think it does. Uh, let's get rid of prism and open the shutter a bit more. I 
I'm pretty sure that this is quite centered. I'm gonna go with a C screw and see if I can move that light a bit. Yep. And now I'm going to move A again. I don't know how much you can see but what I've done is there's a brightest point right around here and uh, I can see I don't know if you can see it well in camera but I can see it definitely and I've moved it to the center so it's dead center right here so that would be the center of this light so let's try moving gobos and see how that um, changed so we'll go for this one and it's very clear try to focusing more And this one, very vivid colors. Let's go for bright, a bit brighter. You can actually, as I'm increasing, you can see on the camera that bright point. So focus works well. Oh, you can see it now. Uh, let me put maybe a um, blank one again. And you can see how I've adjusted the lamp, that it's in the center there. Let me try adjusting it a little bit more, because I can actually better see it on camera. Oh, you can see it moving. So a bit up and to the, right, to the left, to the right. So adjusting those screws moves that point. So here we go, if you want to really adjust your light, use a UV filter and then a camera, because in reality I can see blue, I can't see that white spot. So that's been adjusted. Uh, let's go through all the colors. So we've got red, very vivid colors. A shame the camera doesn't show them. Yellow, orange, blue, green, cyan, UV, magenta, and lime green. And let's go through the gobos. Um, we've got the open one, then we've got this one, we've got the tunnel dots, I think that's as focused as I can get, we've got that one, glass, another glass, Oh, that is so cool after I've cleaned it. It's just, I'll see if I can zoom right into it. Yeah, that's probably even cooler on the camera. That line you see is a shutter speed, so there's not much I can do about it. Uh, what other ones do we have? Let's go back from the beginning. So we've got this one, then the dots, that one, this glass, this one that and that so let's go with the colors let's try changing colors on this yeah there's some cool effects on this one but the best part i can swap those gobos with uh, the other one with the other light if i really need to So here it is. The shutter is not even open to full. There we go, now it's open to full. Very bright light. I do like the colors, they're very, very sharp. So that's it for this video. Uh, oh, by the way, the, the menu is very simple. So we've got the DMX data, power, the DMX address, and then just functions, which is your typical functions, uh, just like the other light, but a bit less. So reverse pan tilt, 16-bit um, or 8-bit, your address, demo mode, and I think that's about it on this light. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, review of this slide. So it is exactly just like the other one, except cheaper version. 
with less functions um, and I guess less reliability for critical events like a big stage production because this light doesn't know its positions it's guessing it based on the homing that it's done before so for example right now it's actually thinks that it's straight so if I pan it you can see that it's not exactly straight so technically it should be spinning around itself but you can see it's slightly off but the light doesn't know that the light thinks that it's straight and here it is so if I home it again it should be dead center but it is not it's slightly off and that's all the gobos available and all the functions and the colors so that's it I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to share like and subscribe uh, I've also got patreon if you'd like to support me there and see some videos that usually I release ahead of time then click on the patreon at max electronics that's it my name is max bye